Hello and uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel of Pearl Women's Hospital and Yash IVF. I am Dr. Chaitanya Ganpule, Managing Director of the Centre. Last time we discussed about the cost of an IVF cycle and cost to pregnancy and we even discussed that we should be concentrating more upon the cost to pregnancy rather than concentrating upon the cost of the cycle. Then we went on to discuss what are the different factors which are responsible or could be responsible for the change in the cost of pregnancy. And we discussed about the medicines used, whether we are doing IVF or ICSI, day 3 or day 5 transfers, fresh or frozen cycles, etc. In today's video, I am going to discuss a little bit more about IVF, ICSI and MC, how the procedures change or are different from each other and how it affects our overall cost to pregnancy. Let's start with IVF. The long form for IVF is in vitro fertilization. Now it is the process in which the female gamete and the male gamete are um, retrieved out of the body and they are allowed to fertilize outside the body in an laboratory environment. That's an IVF procedure. I go a step further in ICSI, the long form of which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. What I do in IVF is that I place all the eggs which I have retrieved in a petri dish and then I pour the sperms into the petri dish and then the sperms go and fertilize the egg on its own. But here there are certain limitations like if the motility of the sperms is not good enough it may not reach the egg and may not fertilize it. If the number of sperms are not good enough, then it may not reach the egg and may not fertilize it. If the uh, surrounding of the egg, we call it as zona pellucida, is thick or tough, then the sperm may not be able to penetrate it and thus it may not be able to fertilize it. So to overcome all these shortcomings in the IVF procedure, ICSI was invented wherein what we actually do is we pick up one sperm at a time and then with the help of a needle we penetrate the zona pellucida, go into the egg and then we release that sperm into the egg thus bringing about the fertilization. So obviously because I am overcoming all the shortcomings in the IVF procedure, I definitely get a better fertilization rate with ICSI. Even though the fertilization rate with ICSI is more than IVF, it also has got its own limitations. Like even though you may get fertilization of the egg and formation of an embryo or a zygote, the quality of the embryo or the zygote may not be good because the quality depends upon the quality of the egg and the quality of the sperm. So if I have chosen a sperm which is of a poor quality, then the quality of the embryo or the zygote is going to be poor and that is going to affect my implantation and is going to affect my overall success rate. So a step further we went and we um, uh, discovered what we call it as MC or intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection. In this what I do is I select a morphologically normal sperm from the lot of sperms which is available for me and then I inject that sperm into the egg. So because the morphology or the quality of the sperm which I am choosing is good the chance that the quality of the embryo and the zygote is good are very high. This increases my success rate. Now last video we saw that if the success rate is high, the number of cycles which are needed to achieve conception is less. If the number of cycles to achieve conception is less, obviously the cost to pregnancy is going to be less. So there are certain subset of cases, uh, couples in which I need ICSI or I need MC and rest of them may be benefited even with IVF. So those who have got um, poor fertilization in the past IVF cycles, those who have got low sperm count, low motility 
and poor morphology of the sperms would be benefited by doing ICSI or MC rather than doing an IVF cycle. So friends, this was in short about what is IVF, ICSI and MC and how that affects our overall success rate and at the end the cost to pregnancy. Next video, we would look upon the difference between a day 3 and a day 5 cycle and how that affects the overall success rate. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel of Pearl Women's Hospital and Yash IVF. Have a good day.